Hi, I'm Jordan Potter, and I'll be auditioning for the role of Victor. Oh, come on, you know I hate that song. Why, the crap you listen to is any better. Whatever. What time did you get in last night? I don't know, around 11. Really? I came home from study group at 11.30, and you weren't here. Get your Sam playing. Let's talk about this later. You went out with my best friend. I think I deserve a minute to hear how it went. Yeah, well, I think we're better off as friends. You're not allowed to drink those. Mom and Dad... Oh, like they care. Just friends, huh? Why were you out like that? I know you're trying to get something out of me. Tell me what it is. Carly wasn't in school today. <laughs> I told her she'd get sick if she ate that seafood scoffy. That girl doesn't listen. Can you be real with me for a second? You need to take responsibility for what you did, Vic. You can't just force yourself on girls like that. Give me a break. You don't know what that you don't know what Carly was like last night? She gave me all the signs. Dirty talk, cleavage up to her chin, skirt up to here. So she was asking for it? Yeah, that's right. But no the tease. Remember when we were five and we went to that fair in Evanston? When I beat you at ski ball, you hit me. That was the first time Dad needed to tell you that that's not okay. okay. I'm not done with you yet. You don't hit girls. You don't hit my friends. Your little friend, Carly, is a slut. She had her hands all over me in the movie, and when I want a little more than a kiss, she tells me no. no I'm the one who says no. I'll tell her when to stop. I see. So you just get to do whatever you want. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. You know who you sound like? Grandpa. Well, what's wrong with that? He's rich, powerful, gets whatever he wants. Whatever. Who wouldn't want that? Be careful who you idolize.